What is up, guys? My name is Mark Sanamaria. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the RC vlog. Guys, the other day, I shot what I thought was going to be like a 45 second to a minute unboxing of a cool mystery box that I got. And it ended up being so epic, I decided to make it a full video. I'm not going to spoil it, but you guys got to check it out. So here it is. We got a box of goodies, guys. So when I was at the RC Expo, I hung out with the guys at MIP a lot, and they have a whole bunch of cool new stuff. This package contains a whole bunch of cool new stuff by MIP. I'm super excited. If you don't know who MIP is, they make really, really good tools and aftermarket parts. The oldest tools I have in my toolbox are MIP tools, and they're still like in perfect condition. I'll actually show you real quick. So these are the MIP tools that I already have. These are called Thorpe drivers, and guys, back in the day, this was the standard, like the gold standard when it comes to tools. It has a nice big handle, good grip, and then the tips were definitely the best tips on the market. This was the very first tool set, race tool set that I bought that was high end, and look at them, they still look, I mean, they still look new. They're just amazing tools. Now, I have an extra one of these. This is the two five ball. I use this all the time. I use this to tighten hinge pins. I use this to check all my set screws, check my motor mounts, everything. And that's a ball tip, it's never broken, and you can get in to tight places with different angles. I use this all the time, guys. That's why I have an extra one. So I have three here, but I have one of these in almost every one of my toolboxes. And this was my backup set that I haven't used yet. And then I have another backup set of brand new stuff. But guys, MIP Thorpe drivers, big time. So in this box, I think, I think, because I don't know what's in this box, I think I have the new tools. They have an updated tool set now. They're obviously gonna be just as good as the original but different let's see what we got in here holy smokes whoa they sent a lot of stuff all right let's go through all this first off miponline.com gen 2 tools those are the tools i was talking about they have a new set they have new gen 2 tools that i don't have my gen ones are still perfect but they sent me the awesome mip tool bag holy crap look at this Oh my God, okay. We're gonna have to go through all these, this is a lot of stuff. All right, I'm just gonna have to lay them all out and then show you because there is just too much in here. Holy crap, guys. This is a lot, <laughs> this is a lot of tools. This is so amazing. I'm kind of freaking out. Like, these kind of things make me so happy. I don't know what it is. Tools, cases. <sighs> okay, let's go through these. Oh my goodness, guys. Where do I start? So many cool things. Oh, I'm, I'm super excited. Okay, first off, we'll start with the speed tips. Here are the new speed tips. These are freaking awesome. So these are what the old ones look like. I actually have them in my pit area. Uh, they look like this. And then you put these basically labels on them with heat shrink. Now you don't have to do that because they come with the really cool color coded and it's etched in the side of the tip. Now there are some sizes in here I don't even know about. Like what's a 1.3? Apparently I need a 1.3. Something uses 1.3. If you guys know, in the comments below, tell me what a 1.3 uses. There's more that I've never heard of in here. Here's a 2.5. So they sent me all the sizes and the balls of the big one. So there's a 2.5 ball. Very, very nice. Let me put these aside because these are the older ones. There's a 3.0, very nice. And then all the other standard size speed tips. Oh my goodness. This is so freaking awesome. And they're all different colors there. So everything is color coded. Then of course the beautiful Thorpe drivers. Again, these are these were the gold standard. Uh, they're still the gold standard. They're freaking amazing tools. Arguably the best tools on the market. You just can't beat them. They're so freaking durable. But I have the full range here. There's another size that I don't know about, 0.09 or 0.9. What uses a 0.9? That's pretty freaking small all the way up to 2530 two, three, oh, and then 3.0 ball. Um, and then I got two 3.0 balls. I guess those are these are ones that you would use on some of your Armas and the newer Traxxas vehicles that have bigger screws. Uh, they're starting to show up more because you can get more torque on a 3.0 ball. And they have the beautiful new nut drivers. Now these are cool because look, this is the old school one. The old school one. Oh my God, just knocked over. Get it together, Mark. I'm so excited. I'm just knocking stuff over with no remorse. Okay, so... These are the old school ones, which they're almost the same, but the new ones have a black, a black tip. Those look freaking sick. Super stoked about those, but you can see they already used the collars 
on these whenever they did the older nut drivers but these nut drivers i mean they're the ones i use they're sitting in my pit area so definitely awesome nut drivers and you can get so much torque on them with these handles but not too much torque where you might strip something out it's just it's a perfect handle we go all the way down to 4.0 and then going up here i've actually never had these before these are actually really cool these are the turnbuckle wrenches check these out Let's see if we can get a zoom in on those but these are turnbuckle wrenches so i got 40325 looks like we have 503755 so basically I got the full range of turnbuckle wrenches those are sick and they have little handles on them very very cool then we have the standard nut drivers uh, 11 30 seconds a quarter 3 16 and then all the standard sized hex drivers over there again all color coded all different colors so you know which one to grab guys these tools I'm like mega freaking out right now here it is check those out maybe you can scan that qr code if you're watching and then we have some more stuff over here we have some carbide rebuild diff kits so whenever i ran 10 scale these carbide diff balls made a huge difference it made your diff super smooth buttery smooth so now they make full rebuild kits this is for the b7 and b6 and then i also got check this out the mip extra heavy duty axles for the traxxas car so this is going to go on my Raptor. So this is for 4x4 slashes or any of the 3S 4x4 cars by Traxxas. But this is the rear and then I have the front right there. I'm putting those on my Raptor R. I'm super excited about that. Then we have the nut driver speed tips, the 7.0. Very, very cool. And then, oh, why are these up here? These should be down here. There you go. These are the 3.0 speed tips. My goodness, guys. Look at this. Oh, I didn't even show you... I'm not gonna say the coolest part because all this is really cool. Check out this tool case. I'm a sucker for cases, guys. Boom. All the little inserts here for your speed tips and your turnbuckle wrenches. Nice layout, very cool zipper pulls. And then the beautiful MIP logo on the front. Holy crap, guys. These are absolutely insane. I'm gonna load a tool kit up because I'm super excited. And I'll show you what it looks like with it all in the tool pouch. All right, so I've determined that all these tools will fit in here. So let's see if we can do this. Oh my goodness, guys. I'm pretty sure this is what happiness looks like. Look at these. These are amazing. Oh my good. Oh. Oh. Where are my OCD buddies at? I know you guys are drooling over this. Look at how clean this set is. I've got all the sizes. Now, these are the ones I couldn't fit in there, but they were also sizes that... You know, I don't probably wouldn't use. So I put all the sizes that I know I'd use in here. All the standard sizes I know I'd use. I put the turnbuckle wrenches that I know I use on my cars. Obviously all the metric sizes. And then same with the drill bits or the speed tips. My goodness. Guys, this is insane. Huge shout out to MIP. Go check them out. I'll put a link in the description below to their website. And I'll also put a link to a place where you can purchase all these tools. All these tools, absolutely amazing. It's really, as long as you don't lose them, it's the only toolkit you would ever need. Now, I left all these little caps on there because I think it looks cool. I'm going to take those caps off. I'm sure those are only for shipping and transport so it doesn't accidentally mess a tip up. Not that it could because these tips are hardcore. But, dude, what is my, I think my dog just grabbed something in my office and left. I don't know if the camera is getting the detail on the labels here. Look at how clean the labels are. You can clearly tell which ones are ball drivers. They have a B versus the regular ones. I'll show you guys a tip how nicely machined these things are. Let's see if the camera can get that. It's going to be hard for the camera to get that, but kind of got it. I mean, they're so shiny. Anyways, beautiful tips. There's a cool shot. The old next to the new. You can see the labels that you have to put on the old ones now. The labels are etched in. Colored collets. Very clean. Same solid handles. Same awesome tips. <laughs> wow. But huge shout out to MIP. My goodness, guys. This is absolutely insane. In regards to these, I have so many of them. Go follow me on Facebook. Because I'm probably going to do a post where I want to see your B6 or B7. I basically want to see the car you're going to put that in. And then I'll just send those out to you guys. Because... Yeah, you know, I'm not going to do anything with that many. And they're pretty freaking cool. And they're not cheap. Those are solid, hardcore diff rebuild kits. Oh my goodness, look at this. Beautiful. B-E-A-utiful. 
Oh my goodness. I, I want a wrench. Makes me want a wrench. <sighs> Huge shout out to MIP. Thanks for the care package. Freaking awesome. Well, I hope you liked this video, guys. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell. You guys will see me next time. Later, guys.